straight up with this video fam like nowadays you're gonna see a whole lot of change and I'm, what I mean by that is you're gonna see a whole lot of young men start you know think for themselves a whole lot of young men are gonna start you know making their own decisions a whole lot of young men is gonna start blowing up with intelligence and the reason why is because a revolution is happening and I don't mean like a whole war or nothing like that no just a lot of young men are waking up and doing their own research and a lot of men especially more particularly a lot of black young a lot of black men are just you know becoming more masculine they're having their they're regaining you know they're breaking away from the shackles they're going against the grain they're not conforming to the norm so if you're a young black man and you feel like you're getting a lot of hate for your ideas or for having your own beliefs or for you know thinking for yourself and you know sticking to your guns and remaining on, on standing on what you believe in and not move and not being moved by your square guess what i got good news for you they hated christ too because he did the exact same thing and he came down to earth to save humanity the very own messiah was hated by the people he came down to save so yes, black man, if you sitting here, you getting hated, you getting disrespected, all because you are standing on your square and you having your dignity and you going against the grain, guess what? The world's most intelligent, all the world's intelligent people were in small groups. None of them were in large groups. The herd was always led by the shepherd. You feel what I'm saying? The herd was always led by the shepherd they wasn't they none of them was able to think for themselves none of them was able to you know none of them was able to you know discern the spirit and such like that and you know something expect it because you want to know why a lot of people in the world are puppets and they don't even realize they're puppets the reason why is that is because satan has his plan so well engraved into the earth that people think that they're doing their own thing but in actuality they're acting out his plan in the bible it says we battle not against flesh and blood but of princi but against principalities and wickedness in high places the reason why it says that is because a lot of those battles and a lot of those spiritual warfare come from within the mind and a lot of a lot of people, a lot of young brothers out here are starting to do their own research. A lot of them are starting to, you know, a lot of them are starting to realize that the normal way ain't working. Because the normal way is the way of the world. And the way of the world is the way of the serpent. And the way of the serpent is the way of Satan. And Satan only leads you to death and destruction. He only comes in to steal, kill, destroy, and manipulate. When God himself wants us to to ascend you know wants us to follow wants us you know to be obedient and a lot of young men are starting to do that now you want to know why because the original way that's been going on that's been cut that's became the norm ain't working a lot of people's spirits ain't right a lot of people can't seem to get their lives in order a lot of people don't even read the bible anymore they worship these Democratic and Republican parties as if they're gods. Yeah, I said it. As if they're gods. I say that to say because look at this now. Look at this current election. This current election is ridiculous. There's so much shady shit going on in the background. Nobody even knows what is what. You got people. You got to. I'm going to just drop a little research for you guys. You have 20% of black men voted for Donald Trump, myself included. And they got shamed for it. Yeah, you got shamed for it. Why? Because we went against the grain. This goes back to my original point. But the point that I want to make you guys focus on is the world itself is in chaos. Demons are running rampant. 
people don't even understand you got zombies and spellcasters running them up yeah i said zombies because that's what the populace is a bunch of fucking zombies they can't think for themselves they basically believe what's coming out of their phones or what's coming out of the tvs And I know, listen, I'm going to be straight up. And I know I'm going to get a lot of hate in my comments, but it's the truth. Like, fam, you got to understand. It's bigger than what you see. It's bigger than what you hear. If you don't got the spirit of discernment, then I don't know what to tell you. You better get right with God. Because I'm telling you right now, once this big change happens, we getting closer and closer to revelations. Yeah, I think I'm joking. Go read that book. More specifically, go read go read Revelations chapter 13. The title of that chapter was Satan's Last Victory. Go look at that book. Go read it. Y'all better start yo, y'all better start hitting up that Bible again, because it's not a joke. And no, I'm not gonna sit there and try to preach to y'all, but I really want y'all to understand. It's not a joke. This world is all the way fucked up. All the way. All the way. Like, I'm only saying this is because I'm trying to educate you guys so you guys can sit there and do your own research. Even God said, my people are destroyed because of lack of knowledge. Go do your own research. It'll benefit you in the long run. It'll benefit your spirit in the long run. I'm telling you. So I just wanted to make that. And I only made this video because I love you guys. Like, I wouldn't... You have a lot of content creators who try to educate, who try to sit there, who try to sit there and finesse you when they don't even know what the fuck they talking about. But I'm telling you because you all can see it. It's right there. So I want to make this video just to show you guys and I'll see you on the next one, fam.